I recently watched a debate between T-Jump and Allegedly Dave. Yeah, the guy that drinks his own piss. My morning routine is basically, um, I would you know, get out, um, wear my glass, um, drink most of it, uh, leaving a little bit at the bottom. And uh, yeah, I'd wash myself with it. And that's uh, essentially just pouring a little bit in the palm of my hand and massaging it into my skin a section at a time. <laughs> that is the worst thing I've ever tasted. Anyway, during the debate, Dave brought up the age-old, already debunked argument about how if Earth's rotating at a thousand miles per hour at the equator, we should be flung off for some reason. Now, if anybody understands physics, they understand that this couldn't be farther from the truth. Listening to Dave desperately try and assert this completely false claim was excruciatingly painful. So what we're going to do is go over how his claim was absolutely wrong and stupid, and we're going to do that right now. Pinpoint asteroids in orbit, then hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it, towards it. Now one of Flat Earthers' core arguments is that they don't believe the Earth is rotating because they can't feel the movement. Not knowing that the size of the object they're on is going to determine the amount of movement you feel. The same is true when you're flying in a 787 versus a single-engine Cessna, or when you're on a cruise ship versus a small fishing boat. I'm going to play a clip from this debate so you can hear Dave's full explanation of his position. Uh, Gravitron. Okay, have you heard of it? Yes, the drop, the drop one? No, no, no. It's a, it's a big wheel, okay? And um, you stand around the edge, and the thing spins around, and you get stuck to the outside, yeah? Yeah, yes. Right. Now, we have a, a version where that gravitron tips up on its side yeah and uh, and yet people are stuck on the top as it goes round yeah if i yeah. was on the outside of that gravitron i would be flung off uh, away from gravity yeah yes now that gravitron only goes at 37 miles an hour right okay <sighs> again this is it will be the same effect Right. If that if the merry go round was tipped upside side down or on its side and somehow you were able to cling on to it, right, you'd still be flung off a thousand miles an hour. No, what 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 is the okay, percentage no, no, angular happen. change of the earth? Like how much what percentage does the earth spin? It per doesn't hour? matter. If it you does. if you if you follow the example of the of the merry, merry go round, yeah. Again, ignoring ignoring the gravity part, yeah, for the, for a moment, yeah, just the idea that you're on the edge of a, a roundabout going at a thousand miles an hour, yeah, you would not be able to hang on to that thing. Now I know Dave will probably never watch this video, but for any flat earthers out there who are actually curious and want to know the reason why we think this argument is not valid, sit back and I'll do my best to try and explain it. Now let's take the Earth's surface at the equator and break it down into degrees of a compass. Now we all know the Earth is rotating at 15 degrees per hour, meaning within one hour, one position on the equator has moved 15 degrees. Yes, Flat Earthers, we know this because it's been measured, and you can go out and measure it yourself, like Bob did. But what we found is, is when we turned on that gyroscope, we found that we were picking up a drift. A 15 degree per hour drift. Thanks, Bob. The circumference of the Earth is 24,901 miles. Again, we know this because it's been measured. If we divide 24,901 miles by 360 degrees, we get 69.169. If you take 69.1 and multiply it by 15 degrees, you get about 1,037 miles. So that means in one hour, one position on the equator has traveled 1,037 miles. But remember, the Earth's surface is 24,901 miles in circumference. So traveling at 1,037 miles per hour, it took the Earth one hour to rotate this much. It took one hour for one position to get from here to here. When you look at this in terms of scale, it's not a very far distance, and it's not a very fast rotation. This is why we say flat earthers don't understand scale. This is also why we say rotation is not measured in miles per hour. It's measured in rotations per minute. You change the size of your, of 
let's say, I'm trying to think of the word now. I'm trying to think of an argument. Let's just take a saw blade, and you change the size of the saw blade, correct? And you spin it at exactly the same revolutions per minute. The smaller one is going to spin faster because it's going to have no it's going to spin yeah it's going to spin, spin faster than the larger one i'm trying to think now is it faster or slower i'm kind of talking myself into a corner here um but anyway Bruh. the earth rotates at about 0 0.000694 rotations per minute get on a merry-go-round and rotate it at 0 0.000694 rotations per minute how long do you think it would take for you to do a full rotation? Well, let's see. There are 1,440 minutes in one day. If you multiply 0 .000694 rotations per minute by 1,440 minutes, you get 0.99936, which for all intents and purposes is one, which means it would rotate one time in 1,440 minutes. Again, not a very fast rotation. The problem is, flat earthers see the number 1000 and immediately think because it's a big number, they relate it to the speed of a car or an airplane. When in reality, 1000 miles per hour is minuscule when it comes to things as large as the earth, or the speed at which things move in space. Other than the conservation of momentum, which they also don't understand, the other reason why we're not all flung off is because of that pesky downward acceleration experienced by everything on earth. Now, what's that called again? Gravity, you fucking retard! Gravity! Have you ever heard of fucking gravity? Gravity! Gravity! Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And check out the rest of my videos if you're interested. And as always, peace. Pinpoint asteroids in orbit, then hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it. Towards it.